buy the right thing. Pressure canner. Who knew I would become Betty Crocker? I've been threatened. My husband pulled out of his magic garage the other day, which I call Walmart, and I'm not gonna move this because then you'll see my fat legs. Peggy, I'll read it. I will read this. It says important. This is the, the, I don't even know what this is. I'm a canner now. Why would he think that's a great idea? Let my wife loose with the turkey fryer. As of right now, I don't see a book. I'm a newbie and I don't know what this is called. How's that? How's that? Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what I got? I got it in the mail today. I am so excited. This took me forever to find. Looky, oh, it's heavy. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought we could unbox this together. I thought that would be fun. This was hard to find. This is a 23 quart pressure canner from Presto. I looked everywhere for this, Walmart, everywhere. I looked everywhere, couldn't find it anywhere. Finally online I found it and if you hold on a minute, I'll tell you where that is because I need to get my phone. Get in the phone. All right, let's figure this out. It would be in an email. I have to find the app first because it's in a, my other, my Yahoo email. Oh, there it is. It's even alphabetical on my phone and I can't find it. Figure that one out. Let's see. I found it. I starred the email so I could find it easily. Figure that one out, huh? Ruralking.com. R-U-R-A-L-K-I-N-G dot com. That is where I found this from. I found it Sunday and it is now Thursday. So they shipped it right away, which I was happy about because I have peppers. That's another story. I have hot peppers that I want to make peppers in oil. I picked them all yesterday brought them in a house in the house in a bag I have like three pounds of peppers I did weigh them because I'm in shed wars so team woodcutter so I weighed them and they were like three pounds and I thought oh, I didn't feel very good after I picked them I haven't really been feeling good lately with my fibromyalgia and whatever else is happening I don't know but I put them in a bag and just left them out. I didn't want to put them in the refrigerator. Here I go with a knife again. I woke up and my eyes were watering. They're that pungent. So let's open this together, shall we? Now that we've gotten this far and I've been threatened. Let me move you down and I'll tell you about that one. Okay, I moved you down so we could do this together. I moved my couch, I don't know if anybody noticed, and I put this big rug in here, carpet piece, eight by 10. I'm liking it. It looks weird on the camera, but it doesn't look weird in real life. If you were at my house, you would like this too. All right, let's get busy here. Got my knife. We're gonna cut. If you see a brown blob next to me, that's my dog. My dog tends to not leave my side ever, ever. I'm excited about doing this. I'm excited that I found, oh, that's just too much. I'm excited that I even found one because oh, this was hard to find. This was very hard to find. I was thinking I might have to borrow somebody's just to do my peppers. Tomorrow we're gonna go get corn and I'm going to blanch and freeze that. I'm not gonna can the corn because I know that I like frozen corn already, so I'm just going to do that this year. Maybe next year it will be different. There we go. 23 quart pressure canner, and it says and cooker. But I think that's okay because I have this friend in Canada and I sent her a picture of this and she said it was okay. Good job buying this. Which, where's my phone? I lost my phone. Where did I put my phone? I know I just had my phone, right? There it is. She sent me a threatening message, which I shall play for you right now. My friend in Canada. Michelle, that is a beautiful canner. It's exactly what you need. Now you've got your dehydrator and you've got your canner and you're well on your way to being able to put food up with dehydration, hot water bath canning, and pressure canning. 
the pressure canning if you do not read the book i know you're very popular for did i read the book no i didn't read the book if you do not read the book for the pressure canner then i won't be able to help you yeah i mean you've got free help here girl yeah read the damn book honey or i'm telling rob how's that how's that How's that? How's that? Well, woman, let me tell you. I'll read this book just because you said so. If I don't read the book, she's probably gonna shoot tomatoes clear from Canada with her slingshot and try to hit me with them. Or <laughs> beat me with her cane. <laughs> I can run faster than you right now. <laughs> All right, back to the can. okay? She also said something about calling the fire department and pre-warning them that I had this in my house. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna gently take this out of here because I don't wanna break it. Don't wanna break it. You know, I was just thinking, what happens if it doesn't come with the book, Peggy? Then what do I do, huh? Then what? Didn't think about that, did you? It looks right out of there nicely. Isn't this fun? I think it's fun. Also, I have a glass top stove, which I didn't read the book for that either, but I know where the book is. I do know where that book is. And said friend in Canada that threatened me said, this is just too much. I'm getting the knife. I need to check on how much weight my glass top stove will hold. Didn't know that was a thing. I'm really wishing I would have bought a gas stove, but who knew I would become Betty Crocker? Now that we have the daggone plastic off, Jiminy Christmas. Presto, you're wrapping it good. Right, as of right now, I don't see a book, Peggy, but I'll continue looking. I will continue looking. Oh, nice shiny lid. Look at, look, nice shiny lid with this thing. Rubber gasket, rubber seal. I do know that. Don't know the correct name of it, but, and I'm gonna learn what the hole is for, and I'm going to learn what this thing is for. I did can hot peppers a long time ago, like 10 years ago. Before I knew there was a sea level and a PSI and everything else, well, the peppers didn't turn out. Didn't have very many seals popping on that thing. Now that I know, oh look. It's a gauge. This is the, the I don't even know what this is. The PSI gauge, which I'll probably learn when I read the book what it does. Also, I have to figure out what my sea level is. I live in Ohio and I googled it and there's like between 400 feet above sea level and 1400 feet. That's a big difference for one state, don't you think? I do. And then I have this thing which I'm a newbie and I don't know what this is called. So when I read the book, I'll let you know. I found the daggone book. Oh, look. It comes with this. All right. Don't know what this is, but it has holes. Be a good circle drawler if you need a real circle. Get your pencil and just trace it in there. Dual purposes. Didn't know that, did you? All right, then we have this thing that I can't read. Oh, it's the caution. You see that? You probably couldn't read it either. Do not use pressure canner on an outdoor LP gas burner or gas range. Over 12,000 BTUs, such as a turkey fryer. We have two turkey fryers, which my husband thought it would be a great idea if I would use one and do deep fried Oreos. Call the fire department. Why would he think that's a great idea? Let my wife loose with the turkey fryer. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. But I do have a, a 
two burner thing outside stove thing that my husband pulled out of his magic garage the other day which I call Walmart he's like oh look what I have and I'm like oh I can use that to can outside I think I'm, I don't know oh and then it, here's something that says important Peggy I'll read it I will read this it says important all right don't want you to beat me with your cane look I found the book I did find the book so I will read this book from cover to cover. The advice she said, oh, there, I just saw something that said beets. I planted beets. We might do beets in here. Beets and eggs. Can we do beets and eggs in the canner? I would think. I'm echoing. I can hear me echo. But anyway, I do have the book. Oh, what, what she said was, when you're not feeling well, because I have fibromyalgia and sometimes I just have to go, I just have to go to bed. There's just no other way around it. She says, when you're not feeling well, take the book to bed with you. You're either going to do one of two things. You're going to learn or you're going to be so bored you're going to fall asleep. I'm going to be so bored I'm probably going to fall asleep. Isn't there just a video I can watch? Peggy, why don't you just make me a video reading the book? You sit down and read the book and I'll watch the video. How's that sound? Ah, wow, look how shiny that is. That's nice, isn't it? I'm a canner now. I won't be professional until after I can something. Then we'll call me a professional canner. I'm a professional dehydrator now. Did you know that? That I am. And I'm not going to move this because then you'll see my fat legs. And we don't want that. Nobody needs to see my legs. Nope. Maybe 20 years ago. Yeah, but now, no. Nope, nope, nope. Let's talk about menopause. <laughs> And the 20 pounds I gained or more. All right. Well, anyway, we're not going to talk about that anymore. But soon I'll be making canning videos when I know what I'm doing or when I'm close to know what I'm doing. But I'm not going to do any of this without Rob home because I'm scared to do that because this is important. So take it from me. You need to buy. Look here. Buy the right thing pressure canner it has to say the word canner in it i do know that all right that's i i know that much the size of it probably doesn't matter when you're starting out you could probably get less than a 23 quart if that's what you can find but this is what i found so this is what i bought and it had the word canner in it which is hard to find these days so good luck where i got it Rural, rural, was it rural? Rural, rural, never mind. Watch the beginning of the video. I tell you where I got it from. Safety first. I'll read the book. I'm also going to get out my oven, my stove book, and read my stove book to see how much weight my glass top stove can handle. Because I don't want to break that. Or do I? Because if I break it, then I can get a gas stove. No. The, I, the stove's only like a year old. Probably not a good idea. My husband probably wouldn't be happy about that. Let's not forget, I'm going to link Page Family Homestead because that's who I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to link their channel below. <sighs> Can't do a video without the dog making some sort of noise. I'll, I'll look for a canning video and, and I'll put that video a link to that video or if Peggy decides to read the book on camera and then I'll link that video below subscribe because you're gonna get to see canner Michelle and you don't want to miss that no nope, don't want to miss that I think we're gonna do hot peppers first not sure on that I'm gonna be cutting those up and freezing them now because tomorrow I'm getting the corn I'm not doing two things at once and I need to know what I'm doing here before I attempt something in in this all right we don't want to die we all don't want to die if you like my video subscribe come back for more canning michelle is going to be a fun fun time fun times here and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.